Hello, and welcome to our channel. My name is Serena. We have over 45 years of experience in keeping and breeding all kinds of fish. These include saltwater marine, freshwater tropical, pond fish, including koi carp. Our founder, who is a very shy chap named Martin Stelfox, Sr., who is our author, has actually written four books on the subjects. He has decided to upload on YouTube all four books for you to read. Free, no catch. Why not check out his channel? Martin, along with his wife and two sons, also built a large reptile house with hundreds of reptiles. Out of interest, the biggest one being a reticulated python, this was 18 foot long. So now you know, we have lots of experience and a great love for all kinds of wildlife. However, Today I'm talking about the salt water cycle in a marine aquarium. We will start with the first day, set up, going through the months, and finally ending up with an aquarium that's been running for a year. So, let's start. This is a time-lapse film over a nine-month period. It was set up in February. No fish have been added at this point, due to a high spike in ammonia, otherwise known as NH3. We can't add any fish, until this ammonia level has dropped to zero. This is what's known as the water cycle. You can find out more about the water cycle, either on one of our videos, or in our free book, Marine Fish and Corals for the Complete Beginner. Warning number 1. This is where a good majority of people add a couple of fish. This is one of the most cruelest of things to do. The fish will go through a very traumatic time, if added when ammonia is present. It's similar to a scuba diver, when he surfaces too fast he would get the bends, your fish would have a terrible death. So, don't add fish with an ammonia reading present. We are now in March, ammonia, NH, 3, has now gone. However, we have now detected a reading of, nitrite, NH, 2. This has not to be confused with nitrate, NH, 3. With no ammonia reading, and a small nitrite, NH, 2, reading. We can now add a fish. Note the fish, in the photo. We are now in April, and the nitrite has now gone. However, we now detect a reading of nitrate, NO, 3. This is where we do a 20% water change, making sure it is the same temperature as the aquarium water. Warning number 2. Making sure we don't use any tap water. You must use RO water. RO, is an abbreviation of reverse osmosis. You can either, make your own, or, purchase some from your local fish shop. We are now in July. You can now see a color change in the rocks. Bacteria and algaes are starting to build up. Also, we can add more fish if the water parameters are in spec. Warning number three. Don't overstock your aquarium too fast. This will make the ammonia spike. September. As long as your ammonia levels are zero, then you could add a few small, soft corals. Now would be a good time to check any filtration and clean any media, and renew any media that requires changing. Warning number 4. Don't use tap water to rinse any filter media. Collect some water out of the aquarium and use that to clean the media. Remember, tap water kills. We are now in October. All aquariums mature at different rates. Some are faster than others. A lot can depend on the setup too. Things like live rock or imitation rock the key here is don't rush things you could add if you wanted to live bacteria from fish pet shops this would speed the water cycle up for you however the best way in my experience is to let it mature naturally enjoy this fascinating hobby but most of all enjoy your new aquarium more videos to follow soon full of information so please like and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell, so you know when new information is available. Thanks for watching.